good afternoon and welcome back to my channel uh, it's a bit loud outside there's a thunderstorm going on i don't think we're having a lot of luck at home this week each time I, I get out into my garden it's either raining or i'm late on from work so all i'm really doing is a bit of watering uh, i'm hoping to spend a bit more time out here tomorrow if the uh, thunderstorm passes i've just cut the first three of these i'm guessing they're like a, a bit of small I think this plant was labelled wrong uh, I think they're like a miniature cucumber but the next few in the chain aren't doing anything they're rotting so the plant's been putting all its energy into them first three so I've harvested them now so hopefully some of these others will develop just seems to be growing a single spine with a lot of fruit on it some uh, tomatoes right there now some of the sun gold and I just noticed also that one sweet million some of those are just starting to ripen well I'm getting some decay on the plants I don't know what it is this home I don't know if it's a light issue but this greenhouse at home the plants never seem to be quite as healthy as the ones at the allotment uh, so I don't know why that is I suspect possibly airflow uh, but this this greenhouse doesn't get anywhere near the same amount of light as the allotment one not a lot I can uh, well I don't really want to step outside at the minute but sweet corn's doing really well uh, the onions and garlic are all leaks over there I'll try and do a walk fast in a bit when they the rain calms down a bit that fig isn't looking very good, it that could do with a, a transplant blueberries are all coming along nicely, ripening up you know I set, set, stepped outside and it was dry and I literally got to the greenhouse and opened the door and the oven's opened up so All the plants are on the ceiling now, There's, I might end up having to cut some of the tops out even more. Doesn't look like I'm going to get anything done outside today and certainly won't get that pile of stuff burnt. I might make a dash for the house and try and edit me uh, allotment video and get that posted I'll leave this home garden one till tomorrow perhaps see if I can add to it so I'll uh, I'll bring you back either later or tomorrow I'm uh, in my garden at home just having a look at this plum tree it's a little bit loose and it's leaning right towards the house I think uh, the end of this year this is going to need a severe prune if not removal altogether I did actually plant it in a, a large pot thinking I would try and keep it as a small tree in a pot in a large pot just with limited fruit but it's kind of got a bit out of hand see so there's a lot of growth at the bottom and a lot of fruit trees as you buy them they're grafted so the graft like the plum tree on top of another rootstock, a different variety that's more hardy or something, but all these side shoots that are coming up are from the original rootstock, they're not part of the plum tree. And they're just getting worse and worse every year, so it's, uh, it might be time to abandon this idea and never really get any plums off it. The wildlife always beat, them, beat me to them, but I believe some of this, uh, the wood, is pretty good for like spoon carving and stuff so it might uh, see another life let's have a quick walk down the garden leeks are all thickening up nicely like I say they'll just push each other sideways as they fatten up that tomato's coming along <laughs> you can see that the uh, all the onions are forming bulbs now little bulbs and they'll just keep growing and again they'll just a bit like shallots but bigger shallots they'll push each other aside 
I think, uh, I don't think it's caterpillars or anything, but I suspect there's some slug and snail activity going on in there. There's a lot of stuff getting munched on, but I think I'm uh, tempted to just let that grow till it's final, see what happens. Blueberries and that are looking okay. Uh, we've had a lot of rain here, but it's amazing not everything always hits your pots. This is the garlic bed and this seems to dry very very fast I mean that it's barely damp even a couple of inches down so I'll give that a soak with a hose shortly that little fig needs repotting again onions and sweet corns looking okay there I'm gonna add in the uh, greenhouse in a minute and clean out any uh, decaying leaves and things like that. I found a bag of Epsom salt, so I'm going to give them a dose of Epsom salts, which is like a mineral that they can become deficient in. So I'll bring you back in a bit when I'm in the greenhouse. I'm in the greenhouse. I've, uh, they don't really need tying off any higher, but I've cut all the decaying leaves out I could see. Uh, there's a few rotten fruit on them as well so I've cut them out I've bagged all them I'm going to stick them in the bin I found a, a bag of Epsom salts which is uh, and it's one of the ingredients in like hydroponic uh, fertilizer for plants it's a mineral that they, they can crave and I, th I believe a deficiency in that can cause yellowing of leaves so I've put a handful of or a, you know, a bit of a handful of Epsom salts on each pot. I'm going to give them a bit of a water in now so it'll start dissolving and the roots can take it through. I've also removed most of the bottom leaves from the plants. It's important to try and promote air circulation around the plants. That graft is uh, <laughs> its not dyed, but I don't think it's going to do anything. I think I was too late planting the potatoes and probably too late planting the actual donor tomatoes I need to start earlier I will try that again next year because uh, I know I do know it'll work and I mean this one hasn't actually it's still alive it's hanging on it's uh, so I think the graft is more or less taken but just nothing was it would have been better if the, the basic potato was more like the one at my allotment much more developed then you're grafting a much thicker tomato stalk but I'll try that again next year so uh, like I say I've cut a lot of the dead stuff out I've uh, took the tops out of most of them now took out a few uh, that were showing signs of bottom end uh, blossom end rot that one probably would have done as well it was a dark spot on the bottom so the sweet million I've got a couple there that are more or less ripe and uh, the sun gold, so they're starting to ripen nicely. I think I've mentioned a couple of times that the, on the allotment video, these are the Tigerella. Uh, the allotment ones aren't quite as big as these, even though they're healthier plants. They should get a good combination of fruit based, you know, picking off both areas. Chilies have uh, Got some well there are some little chilies forming these could desperately do with now i've made a bit more space i'll try and get them in some slightly bigger pots but there are there are chilies growing on these <coughs> uh, obviously there's some that's a sweet pepper those are chilies these are chilies uh, that's a sweet pepper they're ripening up this is the one that i overwintered on a bedroom windowsill got some leaks there I could probably do with getting to the allotment and getting planted in some of them tyres so if they thicken up uh, before winter I think they're a variety called Bulgarian Giant they grow really big thick tall leak so I'm going to get these tomatoes watered in so they start benefiting from that Epsom salt and uh, I'll bring you back in a bit Uh, this is that little sort of mini cucumber I'm uh, trailing overhead. I picked the three 
fruits off it in my last video. I actually cut one of them up. Uh, they, they are just like a cucumber, mini cucumber. I didn't realise that's what it was. I think it was labelled wrong. I chopped one up and put it in a stir fry of all things and it actually worked really well. It come out really nice. And like a sweet chilli with garlic and ginger sauce with some other vegetables. So I was really impressed by that. Another way of using up cucumber. I've also, uh, I've just opened this other, got one sky or one window in the greenhouse which has got an automatic vent on it but I've just cracked the other vent very slightly. See if a bit of additional airflow helps. I don't open the doors or anything during the day but it does have a big circular vent with like a mesh screen in it so there is airflow gets in and it should allow hot air to rise and escape. So, uh, done in the greenhouse now for today. Just head outside. I had a couple of squashes left in the greenhouse, so I've just planted them both in there. They may do something, they may not, we shall see. I can't even remember what they are. They're, I think they're either a butternut squash or a spaghetti squash. When I originally sold this garlic bed, there was a few garlic left over. So I put them in individual pots in the greenhouse. I probably had half a dozen come through. So while we've had such a, a failure in this bed, I think some of them, you know, are actually still alive underneath. They're just, it's as if they've not had the signal to grow. So anyway, the ones that are germinated, I put the few extra ones in. So I'll see if they do anything. Uh, they'll just, I'll just leave them until they're, they're ready to harvest. So all the rubbish out the greenhouse, all the dead leaves and the plants I'm discarding. Really need a few days of warm weather so that pile can dry out and I can get all that stuff burnt and finish trimming down there. Them trees behind that are costing the greenhouse light. Still need to sort of finish attacking this. Weird Sundays, I just find it hard to motivate on a Sunday. Got a bit of housework and stuff to do on a Sunday as well. It can sometimes be a bit late by the time I make it in the garden. I think uh, we're scheduled for some more bad weather tomorrow, so we shall see what happens. But I'll no doubt head to the allotment tomorrow after work because I'll need to water the greenhouse anyway. So, thanks for watching so far. Looks like I'm holding that funny the phone case is blocking me. I'll get used to this one day. Uh, phone case was partially obscuring the lens then. So, like I say, thanks for watching so far. I shall uh, catch you in the next one. Cheers now. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday evening. Uh, we're just in the greenhouse. Just going to be a quick update video really today. Uh, it took me a lot longer to get home this evening than it would normally. We've had some pretty bad weather today, big thunderstorm. So it's usually a few people have accidents somewhere and roads flood or something and everything slows down so uh, i come in the greenhouse really just to make sure nothing had dried out i've actually bought some liquid tomato feed so i wanted to give all the plants a, a drink of that well it looks like the next batch of these little uh, hanging miniature cucumbers are all doing okay some uh, of the sun gold there ripening up nicely i'm going to leave them for the time being some reasonable size tomatoes growing on some of these others. The tigerella there, the stripy ones. This is one called Moneymaker. I've never grown this one before. This is one called Black Cherry. Uh, they grow a really purpley brown coloured tomato. They're quite tasty. With a lot of fruit and vegetables, the darker the colour it is, generally the better for you it is. So like red cabbage is better for you than green cabbage, etc. Purple sprouts better than green sprouts. Purple carrots better than red carrots. 
Uh, so similar with tomatoes. This one is Sweet Million, which I've grown before. These are a sweet cherry tomato. This end one is a plum tomato. I was hoping that would be a bit bigger so it would be more for making sauces, but it would be fine. This one's Elsa Craig, which I may have grown before, I can't remember if I'm honest. Uh, this is that beef steak one. I've had to bin a couple of the tomatoes off it that started rotting. So we'll see if any of these develop, I'm not sure. Got some nice uh, little chilies forming on here. I'm not sure how hot these are. I think most of the ones I picked are fairly, or the plants I chose, are fairly low on the Scoville scale. I like sort of more sweet chilli type things, a little bit of heat in it. But there's a guy at work who, uh, he kind of uh, challenged me to try and put a chilli in his mouth that would burn him, so I do have some. A couple that are a hundred plus Scoville, so we'll see how he deals with them. I won't be eating them. But that, those are a chili. They end up as an orange chili. This is actually a sweet, a long sweet pepper. These are a, a little chili called Quick Fire. Uh, this is a Scotch bonnet. It's not doing very well actually. These uh, need to be in bigger pots really. I, I might still have time to do it. This is a chilli called Pot Black. Uh, that one's called Basket of Fire. Sounds a bit nasty that. And this is a, an F1 variety called Chang Rai. Sounds uh, a bit oriental. So it'll be interesting to see how any of them grow. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday evening. I'm at home. I'm currently in my greenhouse. I always seem to start off in here. Uh, this is that cucumber, which I think is like a miniature or a dwarf cucumber. They only seem to grow small. A bit bigger than a gherkin, I guess, but smallish cucumbers. Uh, about four inches long. But they're not bad. They're quite tasty. And I don't know if I mentioned in this on my allotment video, I've discovered that they'll stir fry very well chopped up in a stir fry they're, they're really nice i've just uh finally a bit late than never i guess but finally repotted these chilies into a slightly bigger pot and i'll give them some uh, of the epsom salt to try and get a bit of color back in the leaves <clears throat> i mean i'll prune these down and overwinter them anyway so they'll grow again next year but we have got some bits of chilies forming. Uh, there are sort of tiny ones just starting on this one. Uh, purpley black coloured ones on that one. It's called uh, Chili Pepper Pot Black. That one is Basket of Fire. That's got some nice little chilies forming on it. This is a Scotch Bonnet, which is a, a fairly hot one. And we've got at least one, one or two forming on there. You can obviously see the sun gold tomatoes are coming along. That's a, a sweet pepper that I uh, overwintered, so that's from last year. So I've got two or three fruits on there forming up. This is a, it's called a orange spice. It's another chilli, like a small sort of fat chilli. This is a, a sweet banana -y green chilli. Uh, this one's called Quick Fire and looks like there's going to be quite a lot of little chilies on that. don't know how big they grow, but sometimes the smaller they are, the nastier they are. Uh, that's a... Oh, I'll snap the tip in that. That's a, a rosemary. A herb. absolutely adore rosemary. Rosemary and garlic. Uh, I'll, I'll chop that up and put it into anything and fresh, you know, if it's fresh it's even better. Some, uh, the plum tomatoes are ripening up there. The sweet million are starting to ripe up, so I'll probably leave these till the weekend before I pick any. I'll try them. That's one of the black cherries. They're, they're sort of a, a browny purple colour when they're ripe. Uh, that's still a little bit firm, so it's not there yet. 
I've watered in here, I've added some more salt again, some more of the Epsom salt. So I'll head outside. Obviously the sweet corn's doing extremely well. Uh, much better than at the allotment, but it was planted in the ground a lot sooner. You can actually see, might be able to make it out there, some of the climbing French beans, they're about to flower. So there will be a few beans. There's obviously the red onions, white onions, and some uh, a few random supermarket garlic in there. This uh, obviously was all the bought garlic, and quite disappointed with the germination rate of this, but also this compost, this was something I bought uh this top layer anyway and it's it's obviously a wood fiber based compost but it dries out even though we've had masses of rain yesterday and this morning the top probably three inches of this were just literally bone dry tonight so i've rewatered this one blueberries and that's still coming along there's clearly a, an army of snails or something living in there i don't like putting the slug pellets in but i might have to These uh, leeks are really doing well now, really thickening up. And you can see the onion bulbs are starting to fatten up and they're just sort of pushing each other out the way a little bit to, as, they, as they fill out. And even the likes of this, this was supermarket garlic, just a few that I had lying around are pushed in and all of them are doing better than the, the bought garlic. But very poor shelf life uh, you know, when you buy it for seed garlic, you've got to get it planted really quick. I don't know if I've ever shown this in one of my videos. It's where I mix compost in. It's literally, I don't know, 120 litre barrel, one with a lid and a seal, and that clamp physically locks it on. I made a bit of a frame. That bar runs all the way through, so it pivots. You can load all your compost in and just spin it round. <laughs> And you know, mix everything together, put your chicken pellets in, your fertilizers. So if you're using a mixture of stuff and the other thing, it's worked really well because it's sort of watertight. A couple of years I've just used the cocoa fiber, the big bricks that you can buy. So I stick one of them in with about 15 litres of water and it swells up into 80 litres of coconut fiber compost. So it's a quite handy way of doing that. And again, you can just throw a bit of fertilizer in and give it a spin, mix it all together. So more, more blueberries here ripening up. Plums are all, a couple of the ones that are on there at the minute that are going dark are probably bad. Uh, they've got infected or something. I think there is a particular beetle or something that attacks plum trees. But hopefully we'll get a bit of fruit off it. But just a bit concerned the way it's lent towards the house so it's going to need a severe prune uh, at the end of this year obviously I still need to chop back a load of that and get some of that other stuff burnt but I'm not sure what the forecast uh, I think there is more heavy rain coming this weekend but it's in southern England so it might miss me so with any luck this lot will dry out and I'll be able to get some of it burnt off I need to sort of start cutting some of all this bramble down again. No, I'm just going to finish off what I'm doing here and uh, go in and sort some food out. So I'll catch you again, possibly at the weekend. Thanks for watching so far.